So you like to drive manual. One of your favorite things to do is to drive a manual transmission car. So you're rolling your own gears, you're using the clutch pedal, and you've gotten pretty good at it. You've watched our video here about how to drive stick shift. You went and you bought yourself a Mustang GT, as you should. And then, you know, you started driving around and you're like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I know the basics. Now I wanna go faster with it. Now one of the biggest things you've seen online is you've heard about this term called rev matching. Now, if you have a Mustang that's 2018 or newer, or 2019, I want to say, maybe, the car will automatically rev match for you. But if you want to be a real car guy or car gal, you're going to want to do it yourself. So, how does rev matching work? Well, perfect example. I'm going to do it super quick for you guys. So, right now, I'm in third gear. The light just went red, so I'm going to downshift. So. You put the clutch in, you go into the gear you want. This is the way I do it. You go in the gear you want, you blip the throttle, and then you just essentially let go of the, of the clutch. Once you do that, essentially what it is, is because you rev match, it goes up to the, um, the car's engine will rev up to the correct gear, or you know that's in theory what's supposed to happen. It'll rev up to the correct gear, and then it'll be a smooth transition. So you won't, you won't get that whole oh, 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 jerking motion when you go from like, let's say fourth to third. Now, most of the modern day cars, such as this Mustang, what they have is they have this thing called rev hang, essentially where the car's engine is smart enough to know, or the computer is smart enough to know, to hold the RPMs between each shift so that they don't drop immediately and then you get the whole oh, oh, oh. Typically, rev matching is a bigger thing for older cars, but some new cars don't have it. Now, great cars you can use this on, very easy to learn is like the Mustang, like I just said. You know, Focus RS, easy car to learn how to do it on. I used to have a Porsche Boxster. Mine was a 2003 Boxster S. And that car was super easy to rev match on. Because of the engine and the gearbox setup in that car, the clutch was a little bit heavier, so it's something to get used to. But it's easy to, uh, to rev match in a car like that. And once the slide goes green, I'll show you guys again exactly what I'm talking about between rev matching. Okay, so we're up to the speed limit here. We're on this road. And the way this thing works is this. This is what you do to rev match. So I'm in fifth gear right now. Let's say you're on the highway, you wanna pass somebody or you're just on the street or you're on a um, you know, one way, not one way, but like a single lane street, you gotta pass a truck or something. To downshift right now I'm in fifth. Like I said, clutch in, go to fourth, blip the throttle and then let go of the, let go of the clutch. And it'll, auto, it'll rev match essentially up to the proper RPM that the, four, that the other gear is in. So of course, fourth gear is gonna be at a higher RPM than fifth is just because of gear ratios. Again, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna downshift to third. That's essentially how it works. Now, rev matching is mostly, or most of the time it's used to go down gears. You can do it up gears, it's a lot harder. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not mo very much adept at rev matching up I am pretty good at down because most people do it down. You know, most people don't rev match when they go uh, when they go up. Or if you're a professional race car driver, you might, but most people aren't going to do it on you know daily drivable streets. It's very it's a really simple concept, and it's actually pretty good for the car because if you're just shifting, like let's say you go from fifth to third to pass somebody, and you just do it regularly, unlike most modern day cars, like I said, they'll do it for you. But if it's an older car, you're just gonna put some wear on the clutch because you know. You're, it's gonna bang into gear and it's gonna give you that like jerking motion. But if you do it this way, it's a lot easier for the car on the clutch, on the transmission and on the engine. And just yourself is essentially too, cause you're not gonna get any whiplash from just th going in third and then going like this. So really cool way, it's very simple. You know, if you know how to drive manual, this thing it's gonna take you probably three or four tries, maybe less, and you're gonna get the hang of it. It's super easy to do. Like I said, I'm gonna demonstrate for you guys one more time exactly how you do it. So right now I'm cruising in fourth gear. I wanna pass, a, let's say there's an 18 wheeler in front of me and I wanna pass him on the highway. You clutch in, put to third, blip the throttle and then let go of the, uh, let go of the clutch and then the car's automatically gonna be in the correct RPM. Because of course you let the clutch in, the car's gonna rev up to whatever it needs to, but it, you're, since you blip the throttle all the way, it's gonna be in the right RPM. Now when I say blip the throttle, what I'm talking about is I'm literally just pushing the throttle all the way down. So it's like flooring it, but just blipping the throttle once and then letting go of the clutch after you've blipped the throttle. 
So yeah, now let me show you guys what the car does itself. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna turn, turn rev match on with the Mustang. So now the car will do it itself. It's gonna be a lot smoother than me because I don't daily drive a stick shift. If I, when I used to drive my daily, my Porsche, when I used to daily drive it, I was really good at it because I also learned the car's RPMs at different gears. So I was pretty good at it. With this car, I mean, I've only been driving it for like 20 minutes, so. But let me show you guys how the automatic stuff works. So now I have turned on the automatic rev matching for the Mustang. So the car will be a lot smoother, smoother, excuse me, than I am, just because, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't daily drive a stick shift and it's been a while. With my old Porsche, I was able to downshift perfectly like rev match because I learned the, the different, you know, rev uh, positions of the gear. So we're coming to a light, that's fourth. That's second gear. So. The Mustang will do it itself and it'll be a lot quicker, or maybe not a lot quicker, but it'll be quicker than me. But yeah, rev matching is super easy. For any of you guys that are, you know, looking to get better at uh, stick shift driving, rev matching is great. Like I said, less wear on the, on the clutch, less wear on the transmission, the engine, because you're not doing the whole jerky motion. And honestly, less wear on yourself because you're not getting whiplash every time you go from fifth to third to pass somebody and the whole car goes, oh, oh, oh. Now, Learn how to do it, super basic, super easy. If you guys have any questions, ask down below, we'll answer any of them. And if you have any questions about how to drive a stick shift or anything, or if you don't even know how to get the car going, well, lucky for you, God and X has got you covered because we've got a video on how to drive a stick shift. Go on our channel, go on the search feature, look up how to drive manual. It's on there, it's a great video. Again, I use the Mustang for it, so just look that up. And uh, yeah, any questions, put them down below. If you guys are interested in any more videos like this, make sure you check our channel out. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.